So this is the, uh, the fidget spinner. Um, I got it off of uh, Amazon. And it's kind of neat because it's got this inner bearing in addition to uh, an outer, so you can spin them in opposite directions. And So there's, I suppose, some risk to doing this because I can probably get this spinning so fast that it could, it could explode and shatter, but listen to this. It's actually slightly out of balance and drifting around on that piece of tape I have on there to help hold it in place. It's still not sticky enough to keep it in place. So that'll spin for 45 minutes inside that vacuum. The sound you're hearing, of course, is just conducting through the, the glass and into the stainless steel container. If I could somehow suspend that, you wouldn't hear anything in the vacuum as you pull the sound out. I'll demonstrate that here. And the thing's still moving. Jesus. <laughs> so here's a time lapse at something like 150 speed of a high quality fidget spinner that um, I'm just timing the total amount of time that it spins, free air and uh, with a pretty good spin on it. Sound is obviously uh, dubbed afterwards because the uh, high speed doesn't uh, record the original sound. So uh, five minutes and almost six minutes with that one. So now with this one, same situation, but I hit it with a blast of compressed air to get it spinning uh, to a higher speed. I did try putting a stroboscope on this, but wasn't able to see how many RPM I got it up to, but um, it was humming pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll add a sound effect of it here. So uh, with that, we get 11 minutes. Now, in this case, I've done the same thing, but I have drawn a vacuum using an HVAC uh, vacuum pump here, and I pulled not a complete vacuum, but did a pretty good job of sucking all the air out of here. And uh, I think we're uh, yeah almost 200 times speed here. This one goes for an impressive 45, 47 minutes. You and I You can just barely hear it now due to some conduction through the rag through here. If I had a little bigger container, I could hang it on a string maybe. But I'll let air in and you'll see if the sound comes back. So it's easy to disregard air since we walk around in a sea of it and don't really think about it, but at 14 pounds per square inch of, of pressure at sea level, uh, it's a significant force and it makes, you know, a, a four or five times difference on how long a, a spinner will spin uh, in air. And uh, interesting experiment.